this is going to be a talk about dragons through history. And here's a f funny stylized, uh, it's basically a takeoff of the, of the dragon cartoon ones here. And uh, dragons have always uh, been with man. The word dragon uh, was the word for dinosaur. Remember the word dinosaur didn't appear until about 1840 with the discovery of an iguanodon skull in uh, England. And uh, before that, they were all called uh, dragons and monsters. And there's uh, virtually all uh, cultures are replant with uh, creatures. The uh, the Irish Chronicles, which is a compendium of uh, books, one of them is actually called the Irish Chronicles, but they are the uh, the Chronicles of Roscommon, the Tuathadi de Maya. And anyway, they in, in that one they talk about a uh, a creature that had the uh, head of a horse, uh, plates on its back, and spikes on its tail. That's that sounds like a stegosaurus. And uh, there's there's plenty of, of others. Uh, the, and the Bible talks about uh, Leviathan, which was obviously probably a whale because it's the greatest of the creatures. Well, the greatest, the largest creature ever was a. Uh, a blue whale. Here's a nice little exhibit about how you can misidentify stuff. Now, uh, a sperm whale can probably breach the water like a. Uh, uh, you see, mainly see humpback whales doing. It. I'm sure they got the power to do it. They just don't do it. But uh, anyway, as, as the fins, the, the, the dorsal go through the water. And, you know, if you got two of them together, it would look like a sea serpent going through the water. But anyway, back to the. Uh, uh, ancient books uh, listed all these. This is from uh, 1567. It's called the Book of Sea Life by Conrad Lycosines, and he was a German encyclopedic writer. and And here it's opened up to a sea serpent. So there might still be sea serpents in in the water now. Uh, Here's an old map of Iceland from 1585, and in here they're they're showing whales, and some of these are called monsters, but they're they obviously have water coming out from their blowholes. <coughs> now some of these uh, were misidentified as oarfish. <coughs> Excuse me. So an oarfish is about can get up to about. 36 feet long and look up oarfish and uh, that could be misidentified as a sea serpent if you when you see something of magnitude proportions that you're not expecting um, I always tell people this the uh, if you turn around and see a dog and the dog's head is even with your waist it'll shock you more now like a giant Malamute looks that big they don't really attack people they're real people friendly but that will scare the hell out of somebody as opposed to uh, a pit bull which is like a basically half its size but it's obviously much more vicious so when you see something out of the ordinary size uh, like if you live in an area that okay San Antonio has a lots of uh, grackles so they're like little kind of a crow like uh, bird every once in a while you get a hawk that comes through or if you live in San Antonio there's been an arctic owl that for some reason lives around the uh, medical center and uh, I've seen it twice and uh, when you see that thing swoop down with its about five and a half foot wingspan it it made it look much bigger than it actually was but anyway this that owl has been living in the medical center for a good while. I've seen it twice. And uh, for some reason it just it moved down here or it's, it's an albino, I don't know. But anyway, it's a really, really big owl. And uh, I've only seen it at night. But uh, you know, when you first, the first time I saw it, I thought it was 
significantly bigger than it was because you were shocked at the size of something like that and you're, you automatically your subconscious triggers something because you it sits out of the ordinary so you your mind turns to to mythologicalize uh, what you see but it, it's its actual wingspan was you know about my wingspan of my outstretched hands but that's bigger than any bird around here uh, anyway uh, dinosaurs have always been with man and uh, you know they were called dragons and monsters back in the day and that's all I got thank you